Good morning, everybody. This is Chad Brown of the Art Project YouTube channel. And what you're looking at right now is the back of my wood shop. One day I'll give you a little tour of my wood shop. But for now, I want to show you my paint studio, aka Man Cave, aka Getaway safe space anyway uh, I had a friend over last night to um, play some Dungeons and Dragons I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons and I like to play and I had a friend who came over keep the story short a friend came over and so I needed to clean up my paint studio and so I am it's it's not perfect but it is at least clean enough to put on video and show you so here we go we're gonna go to the man cave it's just got like a handmade door on it with a handmade handle made out of two by fours and press wood all right um i've got like a little door prop here hold it open all right so i got a nice chair um put a little extra cushion in it but it's a gamer's chair works out great um this is this is my studio we'll start over here left to right so this is a painting that i did a long time ago and i i really want to redo it don't like it um i love this part where i made this house sticking out of it but um for the most part it needs redoing um beyond that this wall here i've got some han solo going on i got a place to hang my coat some family portraits hanging up um there's my mama um, this is just kind of a storage rack. It's got a lot of, um, paintings or canvases on it that I need to get to one day. Um, some other stored work, Dungeons and Dragons, some storage right here. These are all my sketchbooks. This is like several years worth. You've probably seen, or I hope you've seen some videos of me going through these sketchbooks. I think the last one I went through... I don't know, it was like 16 or 17 maybe. So we'll, maybe we'll go through another sketchbook pretty soon. Um, up here, I have sort of an arsenal of weapons that have been passed down to me over the years maybe. I've got a, a shield and sword. It's actually a replica. Uh, those pencils are sculptures that I'm working on now. I've got to paint the furl. They're actually made out of ceramics. All right, that's my grandmother, my great grandmother, lived to be 103 years old. Uh, crossbow, which I've shot like three times. Uh, some paintings that I did a while back of these, and the drawing that I did before the painting. Um, here are some art supplies. So when I paint, they're just like right there to the left. Uh, this back here, that's an air conditioning. The air conditioning is set way back in the wall, so it makes less noise. It's still a little too noisy. Um, some more storage stuff. Um, a friend of mine, um, a friend of mine gave me some art supplies because her husband was an artist and he passed away, and he, uh, she let me go through and pick out all the art supplies I wanted. So a lot of these brushes are from his place and some other stuff. Very grateful for that. My easel. Um, there's um, a light. I also got this light. It's a really great uh, like daylight type light. So it gives you like really good lighting. But I dropped it and it dislocated the, the fixture up in here. So now when I I um, use it, it like jiggles, so mess that up. I gotta fix it. Um, it's on a nice long arm, so I can put it wherever I want to. Um, I store a lot of, or I was storing a bunch of mirrors, and so when you look at this, you see all these mirrors. It's because I, I had a whole bunch of them I was gonna do stuff with, and then um, I couldn't ever, I didn't know ever know what to do with them, so I decided instead of just storing them and afraid they would get broken, I hung them. Um, so, this is where I work most of the time. You see my sketchbook. 
these are all of the inks that I got uh, to paint with pretty excited about using those a lot more granola bar in case I get hungry uh, up here on this top shelf I've got some good lighting you got some right guard in case I get stinky I don't know why that's there um, so I got pens pencils markers went through all those cleaned them up the other day I've got a lot of pen nibs of various types some of these like this um, fountain pen here there's some more fountain pens back in there somewhere a lot of those came with the stuff that uh, a friend of mine let me go through um, then we've got some random stuff hot glue some um, utility knives craft knives more paint brushes a little easel can't remember where that easel came from but every time you get something from Sketchbox, you get there's a little card of artwork in it. And I've just been putting them up on this easel. Here we go, there's another one right there. Nice. Alright, and then um, of course my laptop coffee another mirror by the way it makes this um, look a lot longer especially when I take this piece of poster board down um, I don't know why that's up there I guess so I won't have quite so much reflection but it's like an infinity mirror if I take that down uh, some more storage for artwork got my mini fridge my tackle box full of art supplies trash um, and flat screen TV for when I want to watch some Peter Draws videos or Scott Fisher videos or Netflix or whatever. And then we've got an overhead projector. That was one of those donated items from a friend who passed away. Um, then all of these books also came from that um, load of stuff. Most of these books came from it. Anyway, this is where I work ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry I haven't done a whole lot of videos uh, lately, but I'm about to get in, back into the swing of things right now. About to get right back to work. Got to make some art all day, every day. And that, my friends, includes this video. If I went too fast or if there's anything you got questions about, feel free to let me know. By the way, I do have lots of really good lighting I got this one covered up because it shines so brightly onto everything that it it almost messes it up so I had to cover it up um, anyway that's it thank you all for watching